What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Nintendo Land and we are back again with a Mario boss battle ranking where in this series we take all of the bosses from every single game that includes spin-offs, mainline, 2D, 3D, everything you can think of from Mario and pick a boss from each game based on our criteria. So, so far we've done videos on the worst boss from each game, the best, the hardest, the easiest, and even the scariest bosses of each game. And you guys wanted this to keep going, so today we are doing the most gross and ugliest bosses from each game. So if there's not one that's like necessarily ugly, we will pick a gross one and vice versa. On this list total, we have 57 different Mario games and Mario spinoff games to talk about. So this is gonna be a pretty long video. So please stop what you're doing. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Mario and Nintendo in general. It really helps a lot because these videos do take a long time. So thank you so much for your support. Let's see how many people we can get to subscribe from this one video. But first I wanna thank today's sponsor, Factor. Are you too busy with your end of summer goals to cook, but want to make sure you're eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy, then get back to crushing your goals. Refresh your healthy habits without missing a beat by choosing from over 34 weekly flavor-packed, dietitian approved meals, ready to eat in just two minutes. Factor is actually something that greatly benefits me. As someone who's starting to really work out more and also have videos to upload, I don't have that much time to cook food, especially when I'm cooking dinners. Lunchtime is the hardest meal of the day for me. So to be able to have something that I can just take out of the freezer, pop in the microwave for just two minutes and be ready to eat is so important and critical for my day. Not to mention that it's extremely good and it's healthy for me. And trust me when I tell you that I am a picky eater. And this sun-dried tomato chicken was a little scary for me at first, I'll admit, but it was delicious, I kid you not. So if you're interested in Factor, head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code NINTENDOLAND50 to get 50% off of your first Factor box. A whopping 50% off just by using code NINTENDOLAND50. I mean, that's an insane deal. So if you're interested in making meals easier for yourself and also getting on the road to eating healthier, order yourself some Factor meal boxes with my code today. And big thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Just like always, we start with the classics. For Mario Brothers, you really can't pick a lot, especially for Mario Brothers and Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. It's just gonna be Bowser, I guess, because it's not really like one Bowser that's uglier than the other. It's all the same Bowser boss battle, so you can't really pick a ugly one or a goofy one or a gross one. There's nothing to really choose from from those games. But for Mario Brothers 2, I chose King Ward. King Ward is definitely disgusting as he burps up bubbles at you. He's just a very nasty, gross character, and you have to actually throw turnips in his mouth. You have to feed the dude vegetables he's so unhealthy in order to defeat him. For Mario Brothers 3, you're gonna see this character a lot on this list because out of all the Koopalings, Morton is probably the grossest and probably the ugliest of them all just because he just he's just a big, kind of weird looking character with weird hair as well. He's got like little strands of hair and it's just a big goofy mouth. So yeah, nothing really against the character in this game. It just, he's probably the goofiest looking one. For Super Mario Land, we have Dragon Zamasu, which is like a weird goofy looking giant beer belly uh, seahorse, I, I guess. And it shoots out these like egg bubble things. It can be kind of disgusting if you look at it in that term. There's not too many other really nasty or weird looking disgusting enemies. For Mario Land, too, it'd probably be the witch. I know a lot of people would probably say Wario because it's Wario, let's face it. Uh, but the witch looks like Wario, but even scarier and uglier and, and, and nastier. I, I can't explain it. Look at the nose on that thing. But then Mario World, of course, we have Morton once again. Morton, I'm sorry, buddy. You're going to get dragged a lot in this video. He's pretty much the same design overall as Roy, but he just looks a lot goofier. So, yep, once again, Sorry, Morton. For Mario Pinball Land, I chose PD Piranha, which doesn't even look like PD Piranha. It's like a little short, chunky piranha plant, and it looks really goofy. I think it's probably the weirdest or technically ugliest enemy or boss in this game. Definitely not the greatest. Mario Dance Dance Revolution, I guess we would just have to choose Wario. There's not too many bosses that really go under the gross category, and just by knowing Wario, we know he's probably the grossest one there. 
In Mario 64, we have Goom Boss because it is a creepy, weird looking boss. It has crazy eyes, is gigantic and scary, and it just has this presence of a nasty character. For Super Mario Sunshine, I was between two. One was King Boo, just because it's so wacky and disgusting the way he uses his tongue to spin the slots and also spits all over the stage. But Eoli Mouth has to be the most disgusting boss in this game. It's a giant eel with two heads kind of attached to one for one single mouth, and it has rotten teeth that you have to wash in order for them to fall out of his mouth. It's disgusting. For Super Mario Galaxy, we have Tarantox, which is also very, very gross. It's a giant spider that has giant boils on it that actually spews this nasty acid like pus stuff, and it's just disgusting when you pop them open. And in Super Mario Galaxy 2, I chose Glamdozer for kind of a similar situation where it just throws up lots Lots of gross lava balls and stuff. It's very nasty and just look at the thing. Pretty gross to look at. Now we move on to the 2D New Super Mario Brothers games. With New Super Mario Brothers DS, we have Cheap Skipper, which is just a big, ugly looking fish. I don't think there's much else to say here. It just looks very disgusting, let's be honest. For New Super Mario Brothers Wii, I chose Morton, New Super Mario Brothers U, Morton, and New Super Mario Brothers 2, Morton. Yeah. I'm sorry, there's not many bosses to choose from in those games, and all of those bosses are pretty much the Koopalings, and Morton is by far, to me, the goofiest looking one. Look, I know I'm judging a book by a shell and judging a Koopa before actually meeting them, but you know what? It's just how it is. Now jumping into some of the 3D games and spinoffs, we have Super Mario 3D Land, which only has like three bosses. It's just Boom Booms, Pom Poms, and Bowser. So I guess the one that looks the goofiest is probably Boom Boom since he has abnormally huge arms. So technically that would be the weirdest looking one. 3D World, I definitely choose Motley Boss Blob. This character just looks disgusting. And as a boss, it just always like moving its tongue around and acting like a nasty little child that has boogers and germs all over him. You don't want to touch him. Bowser's Fury, definitely Fury Bowser because he's dripping in this disgusting paint-like goo from Bowser Jr.'s brush. And Super Mario Odyssey, I was between two. Uh, Spewart actually is a brutal that throws up at you as an attack. That's disgusting, but Cookatiel might be even worse because he throws up in the soup that he's cooking. In the soup! And you have to climb up the throw up in order to hit him. That's like, who comes up with that? Next we have Mario Kart DS, and I'm going to choose Goom Boss once again like I did with Mario 64 DS because it's just one big, ugly, scary looking Goomba. Mario Tennis Aces, I would have to go with Gooper Blooper because it does cause a mess which makes it kind of gross as it splatters and splashes ink everywhere. So Gooper Blooper for the most part is always going to be probably the grossest if they do appear in a game. And for Mario Golf Super Rush, this one was kind of tough because there's only three bosses and none of them are really that weird looking. There's like a knight, a bird, and then the final one is a snowman. It is a little goofy looking because normally Mr. Blizzard looks a lot different than the way they made this king snowman look. And no joke. His name is Snow King. That's it. So he's already weird enough just because of the name. He's going to be on this list. Now, once again, I still haven't gotten around to playing Mario RPG. I will this year, thankfully, to the remake. Uh, but I asked you guys in the community who you thought was the most gross or ugliest Mario RPG boss. And you guys said Booster. And just by taking a look at this guy, yes, he looks like an even creepier Wario. And that's saying a lot. And even looking up the information about this character, literally, he's described as a psychopath. And just completely bizarre and insane in this game. So, yep, I can definitely see that. For Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, I had a lot to choose from. This game is full of weird, gross bosses. You can choose Toastar, Uhuros, Drago, Ho-Ho, Chucklissa, but the final one that I came to was definitely Bowletta. Come on, you don't get more strange, more ugly, and more gross than a Bowser female version. Yeah, that has a chest on him. I, I don't understand why this was ever happening. Cacletta herself is already very gross looking in this game, and she can even transform herself to look even scarier and even more gross. But Bowletta is the icing on the cake, if you will. Partners in time, I chose the Shrewboid Brat because it's just a disgusting little brat Shrewboid. And the Elder Shrew Phase 2, which turns into a big abomination of ugly. Just big tentacles everywhere. Not pretty to look at. For Bowser's Inside Story, I chose Junker because he's a trash can, so technically he'd be like the ugliest, right? But not really. Dark Star Core. Look at Fawful in this state. Everything about this just creeps me out as gross. Even when you crack and shatter his eyes, he starts scratching them and it just gives me the itch all over. Did anybody else feel that way? But with Mario & Luigi Dream Team, I guess the most weird one I could possibly choose is Pilodium, uh, because it's just a weird podium that you fight. 
that's it. It's like a literal column that you have to take out, a column statue. It's really tough, and it's actually a really good boss fight. It's just a strange looking one. And in Mario Luigi Paper Jam, <laughs> the Koopalings return, so you know what that means. Morton, baby. Look, I really am sorry. There's just nobody else to choose from in that game. Moving on to Paper Mario, we have Paper Mario 64, Tubba Blubba, and his heart. Yep, this is just a disgusting one. Come on, it's a big old nasty Koopa, and he eats ghosts. And you have to actually fight his heart too. That's disgusting. It's just a pretty creepy, ugly looking creature. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. The Shadow Sirens are all weird designs. They're very creepy looking creatures. And I think the S'more would also be in the gross category because it's all these like weird insect fuzzy creatures that form into weird different shapes and creatures. Ugh, it gives you the creepy crawlies. And Super Paper Mario, it would have to be between Mimi and Super Dementio. Mimi turns into a creepy, disgusting spider and even makes gross sounds as she transforms as it cracks and pops and her neck turns. And then Super Dementio is just the weirdest, ugliest abomination ever, even though I know everybody loves that boss fight. It is definitely a weird looking one. Let's just be honest. I guess you could also count O-Chunks farting as he flies away. For Paper Mario Sticker Star, we have Gooper Blooper. Once again, just a big messy blooper shooting some disgusting looking ink this time around, almost like poisonous ink. And in Color Splash, we have Morton again because the Koopalings returning. And I guess you could also say Black Paint Bowser, so I'll give Morton a pass here. Black Paint Bowser actually drips this black, disgusting, corrupted goo, and yeah, it does make him kind of disgusting. And in Paper Mario the Origami King, I chose Paper Macho Gooper Blooper once again, just because of all the ink spray it technically has a gross factor to it. Next, we move on to some of the other deeper spinoffs with Mario Rabbids. Kingdom Battle, I picked Calavera. With this weird, creepy Day of the Dead style rabbit, also fused with a coffin, and also tons of creepy vines, this is not only a creepy boss, but really a disgusting one to look at. It's just so weird, and it spits poison at you, and it's just gross. Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope, I chose Bedrock, which is one of the weirdest designs for a spark hunter in this game. It's just a giant rabbit that's like a, a block it's like a cube shaped rabbit i don't know what this is supposed to be it's literally shaped like bedrock it's strange mario party ds i chose bowser because in bowser's block party it's a weird thing he turns into like this giant stack of blocks it's creepy it's weird it's kind of ugly. I don't know how I feel about it. Mario Party 9, I chose Spike because out of all the enemies and all the bosses in this game, definitely probably Spike considering the fact that he spits out these balls in order to roll them at you. I don't know. I had to kind of reach for this one because there's really not much else to go off of. In Mario Party 10, I chose Mega Blooper because it inks all over the stage, making it kind of gross. Mario Party Island Tour, I chose Dry Bowser once again because these Mario Party bosses are not giving me anything to work with here. Dry Bowser because it's a skeleton, kind of gross. I, I, I. Then we have Mario Party Star Rush, and I chose Mega Dry Bones because the same kind of criteria. Also, he throws pieces of his body at you, kind of disgusting. I'm sorry, I'm working with what I got here with the Mario Party games. Now, this quick section is where we run into a wall because... I absolutely have no clue what to put down here, but we have the Mario vs. Donkey Kong games. And I'm just going to be frank with you, it's impossible to find a disgusting boss battle or a ugly one because they're all Donkey Kong just doing something different. Donkey Kong 94, I guess you could choose Rocky Valley because Donkey Kong throws these weird orb characters with big feet and they look disgusting, so therefore maybe this boss battle itself is the worst. Mario vs. Donkey Kong and Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2 and Minis March Again, I all chose the Jungle DK. Once again, they're all just Donkey Kong boss fights in different rooms, and I guess maybe you could just stretch this as far as possible and say, because it's a jungle theme and there's weird jungle creatures crawling around on the vines, which is gross, and they're dropping fruit, and maybe the fruit dropping on Mario is gross. See what I'm trying here? I am trying so hard. This is just like, what do you do with Donkey Kong here? And then Miniland Mayhem, any Donkey Kong, I mean, there's really nothing that separates the way Donkey Kong looks in any of these. Like, even the stages don't really do much. So, I don't know what to do there. So, I'm sorry. This is the first time I've actually been stumped on some. Sorry, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. You just don't have any really good original boss battles. All right, let's move on to some of the Yoshi games. Yoshi's Island. I picked Sluggy the Unshaven. Do I really have to say any more? It's this weird transparent slug with hairs on it. And you can see through its body to see its heart. It's very disgusting, very gross. I feel bad for it for looking like that, but very gross. Yoshi's Island DS, I chose Gilbert the Gooey, which is like a gooey booger with like gumballs sticking off of it that Yoshi, poor Yoshi, has to lick off of its body. Like, what is that thing? 
Yoshi's new island, I chose King Claw Daddy because it's this weird crab with a cloud for its body. This is a enemy that actually was turned into a boss for this game. Um, but yeah, just a weird looking crab. Kind of disgusting that you got to make it go naked. For Yoshi's Woolly World, speaking of going naked, we have Bert the Bashful, which I don't know if the boss is more disgusting here or Yoshi, because to defeat it, you just got to embarrass him by pulling his shorts down. Yes, where you can actually make him go full on naked and embarrass him and turn him pink to the face. And then he'll fly away because he's so embarrassed. Like this is, I just feel so bad for him. Next we have Crafted World, which I could have chose Bert again, but I want to go with Tin Can Condor because it is such a ugly design. Like it is just an ugly boss. It's a tin can that was transformed into a giant condor bird and it's just Oh, it's just ugly. I don't know what the heck they were thinking with this one. And then the final section for final games, we have Super Princess Peach. I chose Gooper Blooper for the same reasons before, just because it's squirting out ink everywhere, making a mess. And the final Luigi's Mansion games. Luigi's Mansion 1, I chose Mr. Lugs. Yes, I'm counting the portrait ghost because Mr. Lugs is just that disgusting. He's just this big uncle who's just scarfing down spaghetti and spitting it back out at Luigi, but on fire, which is weird and disgusting and gross. Luigi's Mansion 2, I chose the grouchy possessor ghost, which was the spider, because if you're like me and just don't like spiders, this is gonna hurt you a lot, because it's a giant disgusting spider that tries to spit goop at you as well. And Luigi's Mansion 3, I chose Clem. Clem is always gonna be on a list, I tell you. Not only is it annoying and probably the worst boss in that game, but I guess he would also be the most disgusting because you're playing around in some dirty septic tank water and this guy, he just looks like the most unclean ghost you've ever seen in your life. Definitely a nasty looking fella. But that was a whopping 57 different Mario games to pull out bosses from for the most gross slash ugliest bosses. And man, this one took a long time. But guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, we have done a lot of these and we are very close to the end where it's time to move on to another series. But if you guys still want to keep it going, we definitely can until we're completely out of topics. Honestly, I don't know if we have any more left. The only thing I could possibly think of is maybe the coolest design slash unique. But besides that, I think we're just about done with all of the Mario bosses in this series and we'll be moving on to the next one. But if you enjoy this video, stop what you're doing. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Mario and Nintendo in general. And of course, like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.